what's up guys are you ready to lift some heavy stones outside in this beautiful natural gym in the sunlight and the fresh air and these heavy rocks i'm just waiting for you to lift them In this video I will talk about the deadlift, which is a fantastic exercise for the legs or even the whole body with many practical applications for everyday life. Just think about uh, lifting the sofa, the fridge when you are moving your apartment or lifting any heavy object that you can find at home. For the deadlift, uh, I would call a whole body exercise because it's not only good for the legs your quads, your hamstrings and glutes, but it also works uh, your back muscles, the big meat next to your spine, the lats, and even the trapezius muscles, and if you want to have a strong abdominals, that lift can also help you, and as well uh, with the grip stretch, forearm stretch, it's a super exercise. My name is Mihai Shafran, or as my international friends call me Mike in short. I have been doing sports in my whole life. I was a professional athlete in canoe sport and in the last 8-9 years I have been doing the Natura Movement MoveNet method and also teaching it. I started my deadlift journey, if you can call like this, in the traditional gym with a barbell. My personal best was 215 kilograms in 2017. I have also a few years experience lifting the heavy weights in the forest or in the beach, river bank. And I would like to introduce you this fantastic natural exercise. All right, let's get started and look for some nice stones in the stone gym. The deadlift uh, technique looks very simple. You just grab the stone or any weight object and stand up with it. Of course, uh, there can be many small details. Some people can even write a book about this in this video. I will just give the basic, most important instructions. First, have a good uh, starting position, which means uh, your uh, stone is uh, close to your feet, close to your shin. Your spine is a uh, straight, neutral position. Your butt is uh, lower than your head. Before you start lifting the stone, have a tension in your whole body, especially Engage your core, your lats, and squeeze a little bit the stone, have a strong grip. Once you have the good starting position, you have the tension in your body, then just stand up with your stones, uh, push the ground with your feet, and keep your spine neutral. The breathing is also important. Take a big breath when you are in the starting position and hold inside the air all the way when you are standing up. Right before you stand up, you can exhale and take other breaths and hold inside the air and lower the stone.
how big should be your stance, how far should be your feet from each other when you are doing that lift. There is no magical uh, distance. In the conventional deadlift, you are more or less in hip wide, two feet. But uh, the five sumo stance is also accepted. Uh, all of them are good. And they are just uh, targeting uh, the muscles in a different way, different ratios. It also depends on individual anatomy, mobility in the joints. Trunk angle or butt to head uh, Height ratio. There is also not a magical position. It can be a wide range depending on the individual. In general, just uh, keep your head higher than your butt. So you were lifting the heavy stone off from the ground. Congratulations. What's the next step? You should uh, put back the stone on the ground. The best, of course, uh, if you can uh, lowering the stone all the way to the ground, but it uh, depends on the grip and the situation and uh, safety. So, in some cases, uh, you need to drop for your safety. It also depends on the goal of your workout, your training plan. If you want to grow your muscles, it's better if you use the lowering eccentric phase as well, which gives you more tension, more mechanical stress on your muscles. And if the goal is more the explosivity, then uh, it's enough if you just lift the stone as fast as possible and drop. Lifting heavy weight with rounded hunched back can be dangerous, you can hurt your lower back, so try to keep your spine all the time in a neutral position. Neutral is a range, so a few centimeters here and there. Deadlift is a hip flexion and dominant exercise where your knees are bending just a little bit, not like in the full deep squat where your knees are bending. Try to do one a nice continuous movement, not uh, two or three steps while you are lifting the heavy stone. Keep your arms straight, you should lift the stone with your legs, glutes, back, muscles, not with your biceps. Keep the stone as close as possible to your shin, to your body, because when it's too far, it can give a big load on your lower back times heavier.
make sure your grip is strong and safe all the time and try to find dry stones instead of the wet slippery ones. Some beginners uh, do a half job and they forget to stand up fully. So make sure when you are in the end position, your glutes are contracted and your hip is extended. And don't overdo it so the other knee is also not good. Please don't over arch your neck and look up the sky and uh, do instead uh, watching the point front of you until within one two meters when you start and uh, keep your spine neutral. There are a few differences between lifting a nice barbell with plates or lifting a heavy stone. The most important is maybe the grip. The barbell has a nice comfortable grip and uh, more optimal weight distribution center of gravity than the stone so you can keep the weight more close to your body and in total uh, you can lift more weight than the stone there is also a difference in the starting height the plates you start a little bit higher compared to the stones when your fingers are almost touching the ground which means your lower back will work more in the beginning. A very popular deadlift exercise is the RDL or Romanian deadlift target uh, more your hamstrings and the glute muscles. The biggest difference is that you have less flexion in the knee. You can also do the RDL exercise on single leg, which requires more uh, balance, uh, technique, coordination and it's uh, super for uh, healing uh, asymmetries, muscle imbalances. The sumo deadlift, you are in a wider stance like a sumo wrestler where you engage a little bit different ratios of the muscles, a little bit more quads, more glutes, more adductor muscles in your legs, less stress on your lower back and some people can even lift bigger weights with this technique. Okay, okay, now we are doing well with the deadlift, and no more or less technique. The next question is uh, how many repetitions, how many sets in one workout, how many workouts in one week. So, uh, the deadlift uh, is a natural movement, so you can practice every day. But uh, exercise uh, goals, or training goals, uh, usually for maximal strength and doing uh, one to five repetitions in one set with a really heavy weight, heavy stone. And you can also do more repetitions, six, eight, even twelve, with a little bit smaller load for building more muscle. So it's difficult question how many reps, how many sets, because it's highly individual, depends on your training goals, your other uh, trainings in the week, your sport background as well, many other factors. If you are a beginner, I would say uh, start with smaller, medium-sized stones, and don't go to muscle failure, then do 8 to 12 repetitions in one set. 3 to 5 sets in one workout and you can do 1 to 3 workouts per week. The 
if you want to work with me and uh, have a personalized uh, training plan, then contact me. All right, that was my short story about the deadlift. I hope you enjoyed it and you are going to practice it in your garden, the nearest forest, riverbank, beach, desert, mountains, whatever place is available. For sure you will find nice stones as training partners. If you wanna know more about uh, exercising with uh, stones, I recommend you my new book, the Sunny Fitness Stone Gym and my other Sunny Fitness books. They are all available on Amazon in English language. And you can check my articles, short posts on uh, Instagram or in my homepage. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your workout. See you in the next video. Thank you.